this evening, I'm here with the European Association for Saving Energy to discuss the Energy and Climate Package, which is on the agenda in the European Parliament this week. I'm talking to business leaders from around Europe, and something that strikes me very hard is how important it is to them that we get a high degree of energy efficiency into the Energy and Climate Package. And I will be going to the meetings this week um, resolved that we must find a way of making sure that people understand that energy efficiency isn't just about climate change, it's about competitiveness and it's about the security of energy supply as well. We are at a very important moment of uh, European uh, energy policy making. On one hand we have uh, new evidence that climate change is uh, a real threat to humanity. Uh, second is that uh, Europe is a continent which doesn't have a lot of oil and gas, so uh, we, we are paying more and more to import oil and gas and coal from all over the world. Uh, meanwhile, it's uh, more than 450 billion a year which we import. And the third issue is, of course, uh, jobs and, and a better economy. And the one technology which is really able to bridge this, or the one technologies, is uh, energy efficiency. So more efficient cars helps us to buy less oil and to make uh, transport more available for, for all kind of uh, citizens. Uh, more uh, and better isolated uh, houses uh, makes energy cheaper for those who live in the houses and a better processing and a better technology in the industry also reduces costs. So energy efficiency has to be the priority of the upcoming discussions at the European level on 2030 targets, a target, a binding target uh, for energy efficiency is key together with a binding target for renewables to achieve our energy goals. The European Alliance to Save Energy is, uh, of course, uh, a very important organization because it brings together front-running industries on energy efficiency in Europe. It is this kind of front-running industry uh, leaders uh, which we need uh, to uh, help move the European society to be more competitive, to uh, be more self-sufficient on energy and while doing that also helping the world to solve the climate problem. What a useful evening, a very good opportunity for the Commission to meet representatives of business and others who are committed to improving energy efficiency in Europe. This is going to be a major focus of regional policy in the next financial period from 2014 to 20. We're going to be more than doubling the amount of funding available, but we need partners in the private sector. So this has been an excellent opportunity for us.